Oh my god, dude. Mega. All right, guys, so yesterday I got a text from Tyler inviting me out to do some sea bass fishing, and I figured we're gonna leave the dock around six, do some inshore inshore sea bass, catch a quick limit, be back at the dock by noon. I went fishing, caught a couple bluefish, checked my phone a couple hours later. He says, plans changed, call me when you can. So, of course, I gave him a call back, and uh, yeah, that's the story. Now we're out here on a 42 prowler going out to the canyon in pursuit of, yes, still sea bass, but also tilefish and bluefin. So we're leaving, it's around 6 a.m. right now, just going through the no wake zone, headed out Abseekin Inlet over here. But uh, yes, yeah, should be an awesome day. To say I was prepared for this is definitely a uh, overstatement because I just threw everything in my bag last minute and now we're going sailing. So stay tuned, I'll catch you guys out at the fishing grounds. Absolutely sweet boat right here, should be a a very comfortable and a very quick ride out to the uh, to the fishing spot. So, I'll catch you guys out there. You. All right, guys. So time check here. It is about 8:30. Quick ride out to the tile fish grounds. We're out about. 60, 70 miles. We were cruising at 35 to 40, 40 miles an hour the entire time out here. Quick and really comfortable ride out here on the Prowler. But uh, game plan right now, we're gonna rig up the tile rods. We'll set that up and get ready to drift. So let's get rigged up and catch some fish. Put any like small ones just in the floor. The jumper box. All right guys, current game plan here. We're just getting set up. We've got three of these electric reels here set up. One here, one down there, and then one on the opposite side. So right now we're just trying to find a drift. Um, we've got these long deep drop rigs right here rigged up with squid, some big old circles, and a little light up there for some special attention. All connected to a three pound sinker right there at the bottom. So up here on the bow, I have a, uh, a hand crank rod rigged up. Shimano Tiagra with another deep drop rig, but I'm not gonna drop this down yet. I'm gonna wait until we at least get one bite just so I don't waste all my energy dropping this down and re reeling it up. But uh, yeah, here we go. Tyler's dropping the first one down now. So we're at 950 feet of water here. Probably take about uh, take a couple minutes to get to the bottom and then we'll be all set. Drift and hopefully start generating a couple bites. You. Yeah. Yo, should I use this high-low rig that's already here, or the deep drop one? I use that. I use that. Might as well. Ow, ow. So guys, midday update. The sun has completely abandoned us, except for right above. Went from just chilling out here, tanning on the, uh, the couch, to having to actually put a sweatshirt on, and now we're in the, the midst of a big old fog storm, so, uh, Time check is around 11 o'clock now. We have not had any bites on the electric reel, so we're moving to a shallower spot. I'm actually in shallow enough water where I'll be able to throw down the Avid right here with a sea bass rig and a 20 ounce weight on the bottom. So we're gonna bait this guy up with squid, drop down for about four or 500 feet or so. So pretty deep to hand crank one of these, but should be fun if I'm able to get something. So stay tuned. Hopefully our luck turns around now. Catch you guys on the GoPro. So guys, taking some big old chunks of squid right here. So just threading these squid up here, half of them. The actual deep drop rigs have five hooks. These guys only have two, but if I catch one fish, I'll be happy. So let's get this guy down to the bottom. All right, catch you in a couple minutes. 
water pump, bro. You get this guy to the bottom. All right, guys, we're tight. On the hand crank. Half a chicken world. I just dropped this down like five minutes ago. Time check is 11.30. Been fishing for three hours now from 1,200 feet to now much shallower where I was able to get down there. So woke up for my nap. And hopefully about Atlanta tile fish. Only about uh, 36 and a half more minutes to go. Big blue one. Yeah, buddy. Let's go, dude. Yeah, oh, it's that's sick. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. Barely hooked. There we go, guys. Awesome blue line on the light tackle. That's actually a giant fish. From the non-bloody side. Sick. I literally just been chilling up front all day, waiting for a bite on the electric reel. Got some shallower water. Awesome, dude. <laughs> there we go, guys. Super legendary, so. Last tile fish I caught was like two years ago on an electric reel on my first ever offshore trip. So to come out here a couple years later, on the, look at the size of this reel, super light on a sea bass rig. We're going sea bass fishing after this. So we got some light bait holder hooks here. Tyler, what pound liter is this, 30? 30 pound liter, and we got a big old 20 ounce weight because we're in 400, 500 feet of water here. So I'm just super stoked. Wow, let's go, dude. All right, let's beat this back up. Let's get this guy bled out in the live well and uh, hopefully stick a couple more. You, Dude, that's a tank. Normally I see pictures of them like with sea bass and they're not much bigger. That's huge. All right, let's get another bait down here. Let's go, baby. Oh. On. Another one on. Uh, and Tyler's on, up on the bow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Lost a lot of line, but almost to the bottom probably. And there we go, on the bottom. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, I got <sighs> oh, oh God. God. Oh, DD. Like Ew. <laughs> He's on. Like he had a on that. No way, that's a dog. Yo, hit the man overboard. <laughs> Yeah, I knew I had no bait. I got picked clean, guys. Alex is hooked up to a tank something. As soon as he got to the bottom, that is a nice, nice bend. Woo -hoo. I don't want to scream it up Nice tile, dude. You. That's another piece. All right, this rod's on the bottom. Let's get another one. Hooked up again over here. Doubles. And there's a big old tile. You. Look at that tile. Number two. You. And number three right here. Let's get them. My God, giant. Is that blue line? That is a swan. Dude, we just got the juice. That's a mega. That so my line's not on. Not on you. I think I have a fish on, dude. Yeah, I got one on. I got something with weight. I think it's a fish. Oh, well, there's weight to him. He's probably dead because he was on the hook for so long. I don't know what we got on here. That was a blue fish. Oh my god, fresh bait, baby. You! Yeah, buddy. What a gap shot. So, guys, two different types of blue fish right here. This is an actual blue fish. That's a blue line tile fish. Literally the biggest one we've ever seen. That's probably what, 15, 20 pounds? And we just pulled this guy out of 400 friggin' feet of water. So, we're gonna strip this guy up and catch a uh, 40 pound blue line. Do it. You and on the hand crank too, oh, I was... dude. I saw those head shakes on that fish. Yeah, no, fine. congrats, man. Yeah, thanks. Sick. That is giant fish. All right, guys, baiting back up. Got some squid, a little chunk of the blue fish right there. There we go. Some more meat to catch some more meat. All right, center it down. Oh 
god, I just got hit as soon as I hit the bottom. As soon as I hit the bottom. Come on, eat it, bud, eat it. Got him. Oh yeah, good one, come on again. Oh yeah, that's the right one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh god, it's gonna be a long fight, dude. Good fish. Look at those head shakes. Oh my god. Don't horse that one. I'm not. Dude, he's pulling. Yeah, buddy. Dude slammed as soon as I hit the bottom, within 30 seconds. Oh yeah. Oh my god, he's pulling drag. Oh god, dude. Dude, this thing's huge. Huge. Got to employ the extra leverage. Oh god, yeah. Coming up a little easier now. Oh, nice one, dude. It's like the size of the first one I got. I think this is like pretty close to the one you had earlier. Oh, now this is how you reel them in. This is easy. Whew, solid. Here he is. Here he is. Here he comes. You. Tile fish number two, dude. Instant. That was sick. Boom. Another jumbo tile, dude, on the hand crank. This is a day to remember for sure. This guy bit within 30 seconds of that thing hitting the bottom. I didn't even know if I was on the bottom yet. We got him. Gotta love it. All right. Let's throw him in the box. All right. Let's see if we can't get tile number three. On bottom, Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, I'm getting bit. Oh, dude, what? that might that might not be a uh, dogfish right there. Is that a big fish or is it a doggy? I don't know. I mean, it feels really freaking heavy. It's big. It's big. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. It's giant. It's giant, dude. Holy. Dude, he's taking drag. No, this is like giant. Oh my God. Dude, he just broke me off. I didn't even do anything. That was freaking huge. It ran like three times. Oh, I'm sick. All right, so just snap that rig off. To save time, we'll throw on the spinner rod right here. Slammer. This guy's caught everything. So let's see if we can catch a freaking tile fish. All right. This guy to the bottom, I guess. Going down. I mean, I had it. It's getting risky out here. I've been in a while. Yeah, if I have a fish take drag, I'm gonna have to go in. Oh yeah, I see metal. Hit the bottom, come on. Dude, that's risky. Oh, you got plenty. Well, uh, don't feel too comfortable with that amount of line left on the spool, but at least I know I got probably 400 feet of line on there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, let's go. Off. Oh. No, I just fumbled the bag. That's a good one. That's a good one, Tyler. Oh. oh. <laughs> Got him. Double now, baby. Oh. Four on. Four on quadruple <laughs> tiles. This is legendary. Tyler, I got that on video too. Dude, this guy is dogging. Woohoo! Let's go, baby! Whoa! Big dig. We're catching the whole freaking tribe out here. This is nuts. I'm up first. Oh God. I see a bunch of fish down there. I don't know oh what they my are. God. <laughs> I see their tiles. Just re everyone reel at the same time. Get these things in. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Mine's first. Mine's first. Mine's first. Mine's first. Over here. Mine's right here. This guy. Oh, 
Oh my God. I got my fish with someone else's rig. All right. Yeah, this one has two rigs in its mouth. So that just happened. The madness continues, guys. Look at this. <laughs> one man, two rods, two tiles. <laughs> Look at that. So we just had a uh, absolute mess back there. Doubled up on the tiles. He's here. What? It's still on the ground. All right. His fish is coming up high. Blue fish over here. Heads up. There you go. Got him. Sweet. Matt going, how you feeling right now? <laughs> Look at that. Dude, he's got a giant fish. What a freaking day, guys. Another giant tile? That might be bigger than the first. Holy crap, dude. That is a monster fish. That absolute gargantuan tile. That marks number six for us, guys. And Tyler's catching doggies, doggies and skates out the wazoo. Look at this, guys. Four fish on the deck alone. Got another guy in there, plenty on ice still. Literally dr dropping real legendary tile fishing. Oh, shit. I just pulled myself. <laughs> All right, be very careful here. Oh no. So I guess I'm dog fishing now. You're not on the bottom? Can't really get to the bottom, no. I said if we go to like 400, I can't fish there. I only like 383. If I go like this. <laughs> oh, I'm on the bottom, yeah, actually. All I had to do was this. Oh my God, I just got bit. Did you? Yeah. I'm on. No way. Mega. No, 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 I have no line, I have no line. He's gonna spool me. He's gonna spool me, come up, come up, please, please, please. No! Stop. Come up, come up. Oh my God, dude, Jesus. I cannot let him take any drag. I almost got spooled by a tile fish. I had to, I had to hold onto the line and the spool. Like he just got no, uh, I don't know. That was actually the best thing I've ever seen. I was about to go down there for him. I'll, I'll swim. I was about to grab your leg. Oh my God. You see these head shakes, dude? Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Mega. Guys, I drop us down to the bottom. I had this much line left. Zero, zero, not a line left. I had to put my rod in the water just so I could get on the bottom. And now we have the biggest fish of the day on a freaking spinning rod. Oh my God, dude. We're taking this one easy because I already lost a mega earlier. Giant fish, dude. Giant. Oh my God, look at these head shakes. Yo. Dude. Oh my God. Mega, dude. 30 pound monofilament leader. 4,500 slammer. 400 feet of water. 420 feet of water. Holy color. What is it, bro? Is it? No. Dude, it's a giant. Dude, it's giant. It actually is. Oh my God. Oh my God, on the spinner. Holy crap, dude. Oh. That was probably not line class, but line yardage record. Yeah, definitely line yardage record. Shallowest. I mean, that is just mega, mega, mega. All right, guys, Tyler's first ever <laughs> tile fish and this absolute slob on a spinning rod. Zero, zero inches of line on that reel when he bit. But uh, there we go. 33 incher, mega. Whew. What an epic fish, guys. Yeah. On the light tackle, spinning rod in 420 feet of water with 410 feet of line on my spool. Such a sick day, and this is actually our limit. This is the last fish we can keep. Did not expect to come out here and limit on 
blue line tile fish but uh we did it <sighs> epic epic day what are you calling it Snacking on an absolutely delicious, delicious lunch. Got some chicken, brisket, mozzarella, the whole nine. So uh, we caught a limit. We're actually headed inshore a little bit to catch some sea bass, but I don't know if we'll be able to carry on the video over there. I got 10% of battery left on my phone, and the GoPro is almost out of storage. So we may have to wrap it up here, guys. If that's the case, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. Absolutely legendary day out here. Catching jumbo blue lines, every single one hand cranked limit awesome awesome day so uh thanks for watching hit that like button hit the subscribe button really appreciate all the support guys and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out stay stoked Woo!